Hello everyone. So welcome back to this channel. And uh, in this video session, I will discuss how we can use SQL to retrieve the job library list. So basically the current job library list. And we do have several ways to do this. And we can do uh, this using the CL command and uh, the API and then the last one that I'll be discussing in this video that is the view that is SQL way. So first thing is a retrieve job a command can be used to retrieve the uh, jobs current job library list information and we can use this in API as well in our programs to retrieve the job information or the library list of the current job. And lastly this one that is aimed to discuss here. So let's see. Just do str SQL. So this view name is library underscore list underscore info which is available in QSIS2 library. So just take F4 here. See the list of fields we have. We have only six uh, columns available in this view. So first one is the library book ordinal position, schema name, second one, then system schema name, type, ISP number, text, text description. So we can see all such columns. Uh, this is integer, var cabs, a small integer, and this is var graphic, and these are the lengths of the. Just press enter to see the values. So, so you can see that this is the ordinal position in which the library is maintained on the library list. So first you can see the pub 400 system, then QSYS2, QSYS2, QSYS, QSYS2, Q users, and this one you can see the same name here. This is the long name that is up to 128 characters if any long name was available for the library. So there is no long name. You can see the short name itself on the schema name as well. And this is the system schema name, system short name basically of the library. So you can see these are the libraries which are on the library list. This are, these are the ordinal positions. This is the type of the libraries uh, which is there on the library list that is system. So the first uh, type of library is the system library that comes on the top of the library list. Then any, any, then any product library that IBM have installed. So you can see the uh, SQL product. So you QSQL library there. Then comes the current library. So if you have set the current library, then only this entry appears here. Otherwise this entry won't appear. And this is the user part of the library. So you, we can always uh, uh, change this part of or handle this part of a library on the library list. So we can manipulate this library list on the uh, values and we cannot touch them. These one. So this is the ISP number. If any as it is, if the library is attached to the any ISP any number of ISP, so this is 0 and this is the text. So you can see the text name. So that's all here. So you, if you want, you can use this view uh, to retrieve the information of your library list, what library is in your library list. So you can simply query this view in your SQL RP Jelly program and then whatever value you want you can fetch based upon this information. So that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.